Hello and welcome back. We are here for chapter three. Um, let's just dive right in. Third and final chapter. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Whoa. I saw Crook die. He was covered in something like tar. As I approached, she shouted at me to stay away from him. He didn't want me to get... He didn't want it to get me too. I can't find my way back to the upper decks. I don't know what to do. Um, is that a door? We're getting closer to like an engine room or something. So that there, we gotta move. There's a switch somewhere that's gonna let us make us move there. Okay. So what did that switch do? Oh, we changed these ones to suck. Okay. From vertical to horizontal, so we can get through here. If in doubt, hit the flashlight. The mug is steep. With brown tea. Okay, so there's nothing over there. So we got this brown tar. So there's nothing over here. So we opened up this se section over here to go over here. And nothing. Oh, maybe we can push this through those. I'm not sure if this is going to be a good idea or not, but it's too late to do anything else now, right? Ah, then we can use it to get up there. And we can push it back if we need to. So you gotta push that down there. Okay. Okay, now let's climb up here. We can come down here. That's where we gotta go once we hit that switch, right? So what, now we gotta push it back over here so we can jump on that. Yeah, I think so. Push it all the way back, then we can jump up and push the switch again. Then we can jump back up and come down when these things turn to a down. Yeah, I think that's it. That sound of like grating the grated metal. As you see, these are verticals now. Now we can actually get up here and 
jump down this one. Into a new room. Okay, so left is gunged up with junk fruit. We have the um, stuff. To break the gunk, I do I to the right? There's a hole. The radiator, radiator appears to be broken. Really? Okay, we can go left or right. Go right first. Ah, uh, this looks like a kitchen. The ingredients for beef bourguignon are scattered across the counter. Should have stayed up there. So there's another we do have another route we can go to the left. Better look trousers are in at the moment. That's cool, there's nothing over here anymore. Just that um some wet trousers. Wet trousers. Wet because he peed himself because he's scared shitless. Or wet just because we're underwater. Probably the latter, I'd imagine. But you never know. Oh, look at that down there. Oh, if in doubt, use a um, torch. Oh. trying to go here, right? You know, where are we trying to go? Aha, huh, I got it, I got it. Fuck it, we gotta go back, we're screwed. Alright, I can jump on the platform over that side. Let's do that first, because I'm not sure if we can get up if we go down. So we can't go fast this way. Ooh, but we can go this way. Some more of those critters.
I'm not a big fan of these things. As long as they're all in one side of you, it's not so bad, right? Make sure I get through them so they're all in front of me. These fingers are like annoying little shits. It's not my fault. Everyone is dead because of me. I took the silver box from its hands, and then I started dreaming of a man made of light. He was coming to take me away. He was terrifying. He wanted me to return to the totem, close it away where it belongs. When I looked inside the box, I couldn't understand what I saw. It, it, w it was so dark and beautiful. I felt it escaping. Hmm. Oh, this. Oh, look at that. There's no way to get up get up there from here. It looks like there's some kind of lettering on the wall. Yeah, I can see something, I just can't read it. Alright, again, so we're just walking again to get up that ladder. I think is what we're supposed to be doing. But now I see. Alright, so this thing we can push to the left to get up on that thing above us. I'm not sure what's up there, but I'm guessing you have to push it left, because when you... you know. Hmm. See so if we can jump to this ladder. I don't think we can. No, okay, so we got to push this left. And then maybe jump on it and get up on that platform. We can. Maybe we just gotta jump off the platform once. Oh, I don't know. I'll use it to get up here. There's nothing up here. I don't know. You can't push this. Oh, I see. Use it to get up. Because there's no roof above us. We can use to get all the way up here. Holy fuck. I'm so sorry, Ian. What the fuck? That was a bit of a surprise. I didn't expect to turn around and see that. Oh, 
Alright, okay, you've got, got to drop this down. So we push this in the hole, hit the switch to drop it down. And we just squished a monster. Okay. I'm not sure if I want to. If I, if I had to squish a monster, but we did it. Now we're going to be able to use this for something else. I don't know. I can't move. I can feel the darkness rooting me. It doesn't want to go back. I cannot fix this. I'm sorry. Ah, there it is. Okay, so we're in that room now. Um, whatever this is. Oh shit, I think we fucked it. I guess you gotta drop them in there in, in a specific order. I don't know what order to do, maybe, um... Hmm. I don't know. Let's have a look at my We got a head. So you've got a, um, a head, some hands, a moon, and like a dial. I mean, we can't get to the other side, so you gotta probably put the two in this side first, because you can't jump over them, so let's push the maybe the head first. Let's just do the head first, then the hands after. Come was the first thing you can put the head last, so it's like a head on top, right? So head hands, this scale thing, then we'll do the moon on top. The wood is starting to go green with algae. Hopefully we can jump. Uh, okay, we're gonna go this way and back. There's only three of them fit inside that thing, so maybe I don't know about the fourth one. Okay, that was probably wrong then. If we, um, if that just reset, then it must be the wrong combination. Let's get back up there and give it another try. It's like a totem, isn't it? Uh, normally the totems, the head will be at the top. Maybe hands first. I've just cut out a little bit of video there of my attempts. Um, there's four parts of this like totem you gotta do, and you gotta be in the right order. And rather than having like 20, 20 odd minutes of me just choosing different options, I figured I would um, skip it out. So this one, I believe, is the right one. Um, I've had four attempts while, um, four failed attempts, I should say, which I cut out. And I want to check them, just to be double sure, I want to check the message on the Steam discussion board. 
just to be sure um, to see what was suggested. And one more suggestion I hadn't tried, which is what I'm doing here, which is it's basically putting a totem as if it looks like the guy's worshipping. She got a medallion at the bottom, which is a body. Then you've got hands, then you have the head, and then you have the moon. So we'll try that one. And I think that should be the right one. So we'll soon We'll drop this down and jump on top of it and we'll see if it disappears again. Ah, there we go. What is happening? Is that it? Got credits. Lazy Monday Games. Art story, Andrew Baxter. Sound and code by Mitchell Baxter. I guess this must be nearly end because we've got credits. Is there going to be some sort of conclusion? Oh, we just got out? I say we just got out and we just walked out on the main menu. So there's no real ending as such. Um, we just escaped, and as we got out on a boat, um, we did that something with that medallion, which maybe maybe that sealed the thing back in, whatever the hell it was. And um, yeah, we're done. Holy shit, that was pretty good. I mean, and to think I thought it was only one chapter at first. Um, it's a, definitely a short game. It's probably all of it together, uh, maybe about an hour and a half at the most. Um, but still, I paid like just 55 pence for it. It's like 66 cents. Um, for the first week, and after that, it's gonna, it's still gonna be under a dollar after that. Um, so for that sort of price, it is very, very good game. It's, it's, it's got some really neat mechanics with the, with the flashlight switching between like two realms kind of thing, and um, the soundscape is, is really, really good. Um, thank you guys for watching. If there's any other indie, indie, if there's any new indie games you would like to see, um, just drop in suggestions. I mean, um, started last Sunday. What I'm just doing is every Sunday I'm planning on playing like at least three different indie games as sort of like a um, first look Sunday, um, a first look Sunday segment where I'm going to play two free games, two hours a piece of brand new games. You know, this week um, or stuff that I haven't played, and just get people's opinions of them, show people them, show people them off. I mean, last Sunday we did three, and two of those three were games I hadn't played, and I definitely had a few people in the chat that had had said they're looking, they've added to their wish list to pick up pick up um you know a bit later in development um when they did so you know i like introducing people to new games and this game is is good it's very good um thank you guys for hanging out with me and i will see you guys next time bye bye